This is the Cebu Monorail Transit System, and it will be the largest rail project to be ever constructed in the region of Isaias. This massive infrastructure would span over 27 kilometers long and cost over 80 billion pesos, a feat that would combat the rising traffic jams in the island of Cebu. The entire framework is composed of two lines. The first will be the Cebu Central Line, which is over 17 kilometers long and has 14 stations. This will start from Talise City and go way over to Talamban, Cebu City. The second route is called the Cebu Airport Line, and as the name goes, it will connect the city of Cebu and its famous Mactan Cebu International Airport. This will have six stations and be nine kilometers. A depot facility will also be constructed. It is where trains are maintained and stabilized. This would occupy at least five hectares of land and be near MCIA. The monorail system is expected to accommodate as much as a light rail transit project. This means the contractors are aiming to have it serve from 500,000 passengers to a million passengers daily. The greatest factor is that this is designed to accommodate as plenty as an LRT system, yet it costs half of the estimated cost of a light rail. For the contractors of this program, it would be the Udena Corporation, one of the largest businesses all across the Philippines. While they have been incorporated way back 20 years ago, they are now growing at a very faster rate. This is the same group that is handling the newest telecommunications company, called the Dito Telecom, and are also the ones behind the Clark Global City, a central business district that covers 177 hectares, located in the central of Luzon. This proposed monorail is part of a larger scheme that is known as the Cebu Integrated Intermodal Transport System, a master plan that would improve the economy of the region into a higher level. This project includes a bus rapid transit, point-to-point -point buses, urban realm enhancement, a cable car system, and many more. A project like this is a much-needed investment for this city and its neighbors, as it is one of the fastest-growing cities all across the country. It has and will do so in the coming years. It is even reported that Cebu is a famous tourist destination for future travelers, and by constructing a needed infrastructure, we will be able to ease the known traffic crisis in the region. And while it may be an expensive program, considering it costs over 80 billion pesos, it is in fact still quite cheap, as traffic alone costs the economy a lot more and if left alone, it will soon be the country's largest problem ever. While it may sound like an amazing project, it is just the beginning, as there have been talks that they are planning to extend this further in the next phases. We may even see it go all across the entire island of where it lies on. And as of the time of this writing, the project is still under evaluation and has no clear date of when it will start its construction, but when it does, it will only take 18 months to complete. Anyway, what do you think about the new monorail of Cebu? Was it something that caught your attention? Share your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to leave us a like and follow us for more amazing videos. Thanks for watching.